Well, now I just gotta figure out what to tell everybody about this stuff. Hey, hey, Goku. We just saw that guy take off. Where did he go? Oh, uh, uh, him? Yeah, he, uh, I, I guess you could say he went back home. Went back home? So, just who is this guy? Uh, he, um, he, uh, well, he's... Hey, isn't there something more important you should be telling us? Huh? If you can't find the words, then allow me to help you. What? You mean you heard? My sense of hearing is leagues above any of yours. Relax, all right? I won't say anything that could possibly endanger him. We're not going in unprepared. If we die, it won't be for lack of skill. Wait, die? What are you saying? On the hunt for the androids. Piccolo explained the situation, being careful to avoid revealing anything that could expose Trunks' identity. The others could do little to hide their shock at what he had to say about the terrifying truth regarding the two androids that would appear three years from now. In order to prevent history from plunging into darkness, everyone made the decision to train for the upcoming fight against the androids. Yeah. Man, I never thought I'd hear anybody mention the Red Ribbon Army again. Was that young man really from the future? I'm just as shocked as all of you, but I actually think we can trust this guy. Kakarot! Spill it! How did you get off planet Namek alive? Right, we've been going crazy wondering what happened to you. Yeah, for a second or two, I thought I was done for. But then, right at the last second, I somehow managed to find a spaceship. That's right, the Ginyu forces. You took one of their ships. But when I jumped in and started to fly away, the spaceship took me to a planet called Yardrat. Those Ginyu goons had attacked Yardrat before, so they must have had that as the destination. So that explains the getup. I'm guessing that's what the Yardrats wear? Yep, they were all super friendly. They gave me these clothes since mine were torn up pretty bad. I find it extremely hard to believe that you came back from Yardrat empty-handed. Those freaks may be weak, but they have strange powers. You picked up some of them, right? <laughs> Bingo! I wanted to learn a lot more, but they really only had time to teach me one technique of theirs. It's called instant transmission. Huh? Instant, instant transmission? transmission? Yep, instant transmission. The weird thing is, is that you have to home in on the energy of a person, not a place. So you can't warp to a place unless you know someone there. <laughs> That's one heck of a downside, huh? That's not much of a downside, if you ask me. Well, I guess there's nothing you can't do now, huh? <laughs> all right. I guess we'll all see each other again three years from now. So when and where should we meet? The androids will arrive May 12th at 10 a.m. on an island five and a half miles southwest of South City. We'll be meeting up on that same island an hour earlier at nine. And don't show up unless you're ready to fight. We're not gonna babysit those unable to pull their own weight. Kakarot, you may be a Super Saiyan, but mark my words. I promise I'm going to put you in your place soon enough. Don't forget that the number one Saiyan here will always be me. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll see each other in three years. Uh, where we said. Hey, don't show up unless you really feel you're ready. All right, we'd better get going. So, Piccolo, what do you say? Want to train with me and Gohan? I've been dying to fight you again. <laughs> Sure. Sounds good to me. Yay! <laughs> I get to train with Mr. Piccolo again! All right. See you guys soon. Or in three years. Right. We're making a stop home first. Right, Dad? Mom's been waiting for you. Oh, yeah, right. Guess I better get some FaceTime in with Chi-Chi, huh? Piccolo, is it okay with you if we do that? Fine. But don't waste too much of our time. Oh yeah, training with Piccolo. I can't wait. 
I won't go easy on you. Mr. Piccolo's pretty strict, you know. Ha! I'm counting on that! Some trouble lately. Best to deal with this now. <laughs> this energy is unimaginably strong. Be on your guard. What do you say we start out with training? All right, for starters, I want the both of you to come at me. Both of us? Are you seriously that full of yourself? Go on. I want to see you at your full power. Try and catch him off guard and overwhelm him. Okay. Let's see what you two can do. Don't hold back. Not bad. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Go on. <laughs> you think so? Of course he has. Unlike other kids, he's already gone up against the likes of Vegeta and Frieza. Good point. Being here reminds me of when you first started training me, Mr. Piccolo. <laughs> you mean when you were a pathetic ball of tears? What? No, not that. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm starting to get it. So, this is where you guys trained when I was dead, huh? Yeah. Mr. Piccolo was super tough on me. I had no choice in the matter. He was useless to us back then, and I did what I had to do to fix him. Sorry to put you through that, Piccolo. Gohan's a lot stronger now, and it's all thanks to you. And who knows? If he keeps it up, there's no telling how strong he'll get. Might even get stronger than us. Stronger than you two? He better. We're gonna be in real trouble if he doesn't. No kidding. And that's why I'm here to help you guys out. Let's show them how strong you can get in three years, Gohan. Y yeah. Speaking of everyone, I wonder what kind of training they're going through. Vegeta's most likely sticking to himself and off somewhere doing his own thing. Oh, don't worry about him. I'm sure Vegeta will be fine. He trained in some sort of room where he had control over gravity. I need to access that room. That annoying woman's old man is the only one who could construct something like that. Where is he? Where is that damn geezer at? There he is. There you are. Yes? Can I help you? What is going on with that training room I asked you to build? Basic construction is complete. I just need a few more items for the finishing touches. Yeah, like what? There aren't a lot of things that can take a beating from you, you know? This thing has got to be durable. Let's cut to the chase. I finish your shopping and you finish the room, that right? That's right, you got it. Here's what I need you to get for me. And that about does it for the things I need. <laughs> you want me to get this, huh? You'll see, Kakarot. I'm going to push myself further than you. <laughs> well, now, <laughs> this'll do. Strong enough to beat Kakarot.
You a local on this rock? I got a business proposition for you. Give me what you got, and I might not kill you. Who the hell are you? Remnants of Frieza's pitiful army? Are you... Vegeta? W what are you doing here? Oh, I get it. With the Frieza Force gone, you've become a galactic highwayman, too. Sorry, but I got here first, and I ain't sharing with you. You caught me in a bad mood. That will be your final mistake. Die! Might be good. Mm. I got what you asked for. That better be all of it. Now that I have this, the room's as good as ready. Wait here. It's finished. Kakarot trained under 100 times gravity, so I'll have to triple that and train under 300 times gravity. Actually, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Assuming you weigh, say, about 175 or so pounds, that'd be approximately 18 tons of pressure. That's only three times what Kakarot did. There's no way I can't handle it. That Vegeta is unbelievable. Training under 300 times gravity? Is he trying to kill himself? Damn it! Uh, Vegeta, what are you doing? <sighs> Shut up, woman. Leave me be. Oh, you don't want my help? Suit yourself. Why? Why can't I reach his level? I... I am the Prince of the Saiyans! Sheesh. There's just no getting through to you, is there? You're 
insane! Have you been at it this whole time? <laughs> Why don't you just ask Goku what he does to turn into a Super Saiyan? I'd die before I ask for that low-class loser's help! Yeah? Then why don't you try dying? What did you say? I've prepared a special training partner for you in the simulator. Think you can beat them? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, you ridiculous woman? You're Vegeta, the almighty Saiyan Prince, right? <laughs> I guess that settles it then. Good luck! And one more thing. My name's Bulma, not woman. Think you can remember that? Do you know who you're talking to? Damn that woman! This place, this is the wasteland where I first fought Kakarot, which means... But how? I'm fighting myself? What the hell? <laughs> Consider yourself lucky, a super elite like myself, wasting his time playing with scum like you. Damn that blasted woman! You're about to learn the hard way that effort alone isn't enough to reach my level! I will get strong! I will go beyond Kakarot and this bastard version of myself! Prepare yourself! I will surpass even myself. I will punish myself for lagging behind Kakarot. Wow, I guess that wasn't enough of a challenge for you, huh? You. You really know how to piss me off. Oh, come on. I was just messing around with you. More. Huh? You're right. It wasn't enough. You're going to make me a stronger opponent. Uh, don't you take that tone with me. I'm going to get stronger and use that strength to crush those androids. You have a problem with that, Bulma? Fine. You're a real pain, you know that? Wait. He just called me Bulma for the first time, didn't he? Kakarot, I will surpass you. Just wait. You'll realize that I'm number one.
Hey, Chi Chi! We're back! Hi, Mom! Man! We really worked up a sweat today! Goku, do you have a second? Sure, Chi Chi, but can it wait? I'm starving! Don't you? I'm starving me! I got a bone to pick with you! <laughs> Why can't you act more like our neighbors and drive us to the store once in a while? But Chi Chi, we don't have a car! And even. You need to get a driver's license! You're the only one around here who still doesn't have something that basic! Piccolo doesn't have one either. What use would I have for that? Then you need to go to driver's ed! Think of it as training to become normal everyday people! You're both obsessed with training, right? Then you can't say no! What? What do I have to? The next day, after catching an earful from... Now then, shall we begin the drive? <laughs> if this is how it's gonna be, then I... Listen up, Goku. Whether it's in battle or on the road, I'm not losing to you. All right, I get you. This is a different type of training. It's on, Piccolo! Um, there's no need to view this as a competition. Are you all right? Remember, safety first, okay? All right, let's do this. This isn't putting safety first! Uh oh! We should be able to make it, right? I bet this thing can go even faster. Woohoo! No, 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 no! I bet this thing can go even faster. We should be able to make it, right? Go even faster! 
We should be able to make it, right? <laughs> How was that? Oh, 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 oh. oh my! All right! Looks like I'm the winner, Piccolo! Oh, wow! Who are these guys? <laughs> One more time, Goku! W wait! I said wait! A license isn't some prize for bragging rights! It's to ensure that you can drive safely and responsibly! Like I care about that! I will not accept defeat from the likes of him. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get a hang of this whole driving thing, don't you? Let's go, Piccolo. Come on, let's do this thing. With pleasure. <laughs> it's on, Goku. Oh yeah, Piccolo? Hey, Chi Chi, we're back. Goku, so how? <laughs> <laughs> you what? I'm not exactly sure what you mean by that, but whatever. Did you get your license? Oh, actually, there's probably something you should know. I think the instructor was a little freaked out by how we drove. She told us she'd give us our licenses if we promised to never come back. <laughs> so... so you... you didn't actually pass the test? Well, well, at least you got your license. Yep. Now we can buy a car and finally go on those family drives I've been dreaming about. Well, the thing is, they also said we'd have to pay for all the damages caused during the test. And I can't even guess how much that'd be. What? Uh, I'm not so good with money, so... I'll let you handle that. Thanks, Gigi. You... Well, now that that's done, let's get back to training. Yeah! <laughs> Mom? Whoa, Gigi. You all right? I know it wasn't easy, but you finally got your license, Goku. I'm proud of you. Now all we need is a car. A car? Do we even have money for that kind of purchase? Well, not after paying back the city for all of the damages you caused when you were taking the test to get your driver's license. I'm counting on you to get us that car, Goku. Oh, right. I see. Sorry, but... Hey, uh, why don't... Why don't I ask Bulma? She's a whiz with machines. Cars are machines. Good idea! Bulma always has a solution up her sleeve. That's true. I guess I'll hit her up about it then. You do that. Oh, hey, Goku. Well, it's not a big deal, but... Uh, sure. What's up? Not sure if you heard, but Chi-Chi made me get a driver's license, which is fine, but the thing is, now she wants a car. Got an extra one lying around in those tiny capsules? <laughs> Doesn't that beat all? Earth's champion, now a licensed driver. <laughs> sure, I can get you a car. Seriously? You don't strike me as a responsible driver. Any normal car would turn to scrap with you behind the wheel. Find me the stuff I need, and I'll hook you up with an extra sturdy set of wheels. All right, then. It's all on this list. 
Be sure to refer to it when you're out scavenging so you don't forget anything. Oh, and one more thing. Leave all matters of maintenance and upgrades to me. Excellent! Thanks a lot, Bulma. Don't mention it. After all, happy wife, happy life. I'm home, Chi Chi! Well, did you get us a car? After I round up a bunch of materials, Bulma's gonna make one for us. Really? That's wonderful, Goku! Then you'd better get to finding those materials. I'm sure it'll be good training, too. I don't know if I'd go that far, but then again, you never know till you try. All right. What should I do today? Dad! Mom! Really? Uh, okay. Hey, Piccolo, do you think you could take Gohan and train him for a while? At least until I can catch up. <laughs> Fine. Goku? I just got a call from Master Roshi. He said launch is back at Kame House. Oh yeah? Talk about a blast from the past! So what's going on with her? I'm not sure, but he said she wanted to talk to you about something. But I've got training to do. Don't you dare be disrespectful to Master Roshi! Just head over there and hear them out. Oh. Yeah, you're right. Guess I'll make my way over there. Be careful. Well. I wonder what's going on with Master Roshi. Well, better get going, I guess. All right, not too much longer now. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Launch? It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. Hasn't been back since. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. 
You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging you. Mm, what? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien. Tien. All right, got him. Hey, he's near my house. What? You found him already? Yep. If that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet! I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. Sheesh! You try to be nice to people. Some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. Goku, a rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you, and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm but actually... it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well... Perhaps we can strike a deal. How's this sound? Let me test the results of my training on you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
<sighs> you never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough, but learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way, who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Oh, you have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. But a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! you back well did you find Tien sure did listen up so just go to the place I told you about and he'll be there waiting ah uh, reunited at last this has been a long time in the making thanks here this is for you I fixed some grub to take with me but went a little overboard you can have the leftovers thanks you know me I'd never turn down food Hold on to your hat, Tien. Uh If I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. We should have room for a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. How's your training going? Mind your own business. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me.
That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. Gohan's improved a lot. Bet he's only gonna keep getting stronger. Just looking at this mango is making my mouth water. I bet this thing tastes amazing. Might cause some trouble later. Best to deal with this now. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. I have no idea what to expect with these androids, but I really want to test my moves on them. I need to train up and get stronger than ever so I can take on whatever kind of androids come our way. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches. <laughs> but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. How's the training coming along, Goku? How's the training coming along, Goku? We've done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. <laughs> uh, it's probably nothing.